slacking off a little admittedly it's uh but it's been a while since i last filmed any anything uh but there's a reason to that largely because uh, we started doing our live streams so if you've been watching our facebook and youtube all of our live streams have started but today is a beautiful day now i want to go fly so let's do it Hey Kevin, do you remember to wax the plane? What? Do you remember to wax the plane? Buff it really good? Yeah? On the leading edge, yeah. On the leading edge? Did you get the belly all underneath? Yeah. No. And check, check, one, two, can you hear me? I cannot hear you. Uh, check. There we go. Hey, there we go. There's Kevin. It's hey. Kevin, everybody. Hey, Kevin. How's it going? Hey, all right. You know, we we spent the last 15, 20 minutes getting all the cameras set up, and now there's clouds rolling in from the east. Oh no. We might not get to do stalls, but we will do something. We'll do something. I promise you, we will do something. Oh yes. I'm gonna move this because this is clearly not in a good spot. Orlando Apopka Automated Advisory. Wind two two zero at four knots. Now, uh, the whole point of this video, guys, is we're gonna go out and we're gonna practice some stalls. Kevin hasn't done them in a while, but Kevin, can you tell me why do we practice stalls? Well, stall awareness is a very good skill to have because if you inadvertently put yourself in a stall, you want to know how to get out of it. First of all, and the stalls we're gonna practice are power off and power on stalls, which simulate. <coughs> A stall in the landing or takeoff configuration when you're very close to the ground. Right, and I actually have gotten out of the habit of calling them power off, power on. I know some people do. I like to refer to them now as departure and arrival stalls. Basically, a stall on departure and a stall on arrival, because that's that's really what we simulate. Good job, nicely done. Thank you. And we are off at nine seventeen. Alrighty. All right, so here we are. We're at 3,600 feet. We're going to go ahead and start here. And uh, what I would like you to do, talk to me about the process. What do we do to set up for? Let's start with a power off stall. What do we do? Power What's the off process? Stall. Set up your landing configuration as if you're about to land. Obviously, we're not. We're at 3,600 feet. Uh, so cut the power. Uh, gradually put in your flaps. And then when you are at around 60 knots, you want to pull the stick back, get the nose up, watch your airspeed decrease, keep pulling the stick back until you uh, develop the stall, and then recover. Recovery is uh, reduced angle of attack, add power. So stick forward, add power. And remember, we're dropping the nose to the horizon, right? We don't want a nose below the horizon. The idea here is to stop the descent, stop right. the falling, right? Now, the PTS, or I should say the uh, private pilot ACS, specifically states that we should set ourselves up in a descending configuration. So as we add flaps, we don't want a balloon. We want to be descending the entire time as if we are approaching the, uh, a landing site. And then we want to recover as soon as possible. So go ahead and set us up for our power off stall. Kevin's going to get us ready here. In the Technum light sport aircraft, we can drop our flaps to take off below 80 knots. We want to go ahead and bring that power back, though, to an approach power setting. Bring uh, that power back, let our uh, airspeed bleed off. Good job. Below 80 knots, we can drop in our flaps. There we go. We're just going to keep dropping in those flaps. We're not going to balloon. We're just going to let ourselves continue to descend. And as we begin to slow down, we're just going to bring our power out, and we're going to keep letting ourselves descend all the way out. And we're just hold that nose, hold that nose, hold that nose. And we're watching the ball. Make sure we're coordinated. If we don't stay coordinated, we go into a spin. So we're going to hold that nose, hold that nose, wait for the break, wait for the break, 
a little bit further back, a little bit further back. And with Technum, sometimes you really have to aggravate the stall by pulling the stick back. I say aggravate, that's the wrong term. There's the brake, nose back to the horizon, full power, full power, power in. Good job, right rudder. And let's bring the flaps up. Descending down 1,700. Nicely done. Nice recovery. Thank you. Yep. You want to do that one more time? Absolutely. All right. Power all the way back. And this time, Kevin, why don't you bring the nose back a little bit more? Bring it up past five degrees. Probably about seven and a half degrees if you can. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. We really want to feel that brake here. Right there. Hold that. There's the brake. All righty. Nice recovery. Thank you. That's all for traffic lights for 615 Tango Alpha is turning final. All four full stop on 15 Fabka. Traffic lights 44 Delta Kilo 5 to the east, north of the field. We'll uh, coming in a little high. Might have to slip it. Sebastian yeah, we're at the laps in the turn. Back last one, wait. Good job. Alrighty, there we go. Balloon a little bit. Once you add flaps on this thing, though, it just acts as speed brakes. Basically, and I'll uh, avoid power lines because that'll ruin your day. Yeah, coming in high on this runway particularly, I'm okay with, as long as you're not like hundreds of feet high. Yeah. Coming in a little bit above the glide slope is just okay with me because of those power lines. Yeah. In our aircraft, we have a short enough landing roll and we have a short enough landing distance that it's always, you know... Hold it. Hey, Kevin. What's up? Any uh, advice? Sierra, you're a new up-and-coming young lad pilot. Any uh, any advice that you'd uh, give to uh, anybody else who's learning to fly on stalls? Uh, learn to fly on stalls? I mean, just read the book. Just got all the info you need in it. Get a good flight instructor and just do, do some stalls. <laughs> I tripped over my own words there. It's about, like, take your time. Just be confident in it. Your flight yeah. instructor is there to help. Absolutely. Ask questions. So for anyone looking to practice some stalls, you know, talk to your instructor, read up on it, get all the info, get all the forces you need to learn, uh, and just get out there, learn some stalls. Neat.